Throughout football history, there has only ever been one footballer who was known as the most intimidating and fearsome goalkeeper of all time. With lightning fast reflexes, a genuinely fearless attitude, and a commanding presence on the pitch, he had the ability to rally a squad but at the same time intimidate even the most toughest opponents of his era striking fear and doubt into the hearts of even the most skilled strikers as they approached the goal. He was truly a force to be reckoned with, so much so that throughout his career, he would become known as Der Titan, or in English, the Titan. Very few in his position have achieved as much or even come close to the level of respect his peers had for him, and his name was Oliver Kahn. But there was a lot more to Khan than just his intimidating demeanor. He was a fierce competitor, a leader on the field, and a true master and innovator of goalkeeping. And there's a reason why, in the eyes of many, Khan was the greatest overall goalkeeper we've ever seen. So today, we're gonna look at his career story and see how he became known as the scariest goalkeeper of all time. Oliver Kahn grew up in Karlsruhe, Germany, to parents who were absolute fans of the game. In fact, his father, Rolf Kahn, played as a professional in the Bundesliga 2nd Division. So the young Oliver Kahn was already a passionate young football fan, and would quite often go to see matches with his father. But it was during one of those matches, after watching the great Sepp Meyer play for Bayern Munich, being amazed at how beautifully he would defend the goal, that Oliver Kahn was inspired to be a goalkeeper. And ever since that day, he realized the importance of the goalkeeping position and followed his idol's footsteps in defending the goal. There wasn't a single young soul on earth more serious and dedicated to the goalkeeping position than Oliver Kahn. And with that combination of passion and skill, he would then sign with his local youth club, the very same one his dad once played for, Karlsruhe SC, at the age of seven years old. And during his youth career, one of Kahn's most vivid childhood memories was from a match when he was 11 years old. His team was losing 2-0 and he felt like he was to blame since he let in both goals. But instead of giving up, he stayed locked in with full confidence, eventually making incredibly clutch saves, helping his team stay alive long enough to stage a 3-2 comeback win. That was the moment that gave Khan the confidence he needed to pursue his dream of truly becoming a professional footballer. Khan would quickly rise through the ranks, impressing coaches and teammates alike with his lightning fast reflexes. Same time led to a fire inside Oliver Khan that forced him to outwork and out hustle everyone on the training pitch. And finally, in 1989, at the age of 20, he would become the club's first choice keeper after slowly impressing his manager day after day. He would help second division Karlsruhe advance and make it back to the Bundesliga. That's right, a no name goalkeeper would defend his club so well that they would win enough matches to make it back to the German Premiership. But what's even crazier is that Kahn would lead this very same relegation quality squad all the way to the 1992-93 UEFA Cup semi-final. Which for you guys who want some modern context would be like taking Sheffield United or Blackburn Rovers to the Champions League semi-final. Kahn kept 12 clean sheets that season, which was the second largest in Europe, even at one point averaging a save percentage of 79% which might not sound impressive, but you have to realize most pro goalkeepers on average have only a 69% save rate. And Khan was doing this with essentially a second division caliber defense he had to work with every night. While his defenders would often disappoint him, Oliver Khan's entire demeanor was just so intimidating the all amnesia. Because no matter how many times he scored on, it would never affect his confidence and he would continue to play and try to make saves like a goal was never even conceded in the first place. The guy would even sacrifice his body if it meant making a save, hitting the goalpost, or even running into the bottom of an opposition player's boots. It didn't matter. And lastly, he was incredibly short-tempered. Like legitimately, the man looked terrifying. If you were dribbling the ball up to the keeper and saw this, I'm almost certain you'd feel intimidated. Some of his opponents and even the fans watching wondered if Khan was a little crazy. In interviews, Khan has admitted to struggling with anger issues and having a tendency towards perfectionism. He's talked about the pressures he put on himself to perform at the highest level and the frustrations he felt when he fell short of his own expectations. However, he also credited sports psychology and therapy with helping him manage his emotions and becoming a more well-rounded person and athlete. And this is the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. 
You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. And if your therapist isn't the right fit for you for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from an in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Raymar, and I've linked them in the description below. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Oliver Kahn was quickly becoming a superstar in Germany and was already widely regarded as the best goalkeeper in Bundesliga. And after seeing what Kahn could do with just a mediocre club, it was obvious that he was a generational goalkeeper in the making. And this is when German giants Bayern Munich came knocking. They needed a goalkeeper who could bring them back to success after a few seasons of disappointment. Oliver Kahn would join his new club and immediately make an impact, going on to play in 32 of the team's 34 matches that season. Bayern Bayern Munich finished in second place in the league, just one point behind Borussia Dortmund, which was an incredible improvement from last season's sixth place finish. Kahn's incredible saves would also go on to help Bayern win the UEFA Cup, making it their first European title in 20 years, solidifying Kahn as the best goalkeeper in the league. The 1996-97 season was a breakthrough year for Oliver Kahn and Bayern Munich. The team won their first Bundesliga title in four years, with Kahn playing a key role in their success by keeping an incredible 20 clean sheets in 34 matches, setting a club record for the most shutouts in a single season. Do you understand how crazy it is to play 34 matches and having only a 42% chance of scoring on Oliver Kahn? Absolutely ridiculous. Naturally, Kahn would be named the Bundesliga's best goalkeeper for a second time. However, Bayern Munich would fail to defend their Bundesliga title in the 1997-98 season, finishing in second place but still winning the German League Cup and German Cup. But Kahn was still named Bundesliga's possible competition that season, with Kahn being named Bundesliga Bundesliga's best goalkeeper for the fourth time in his career, the German League Cup title. Oliver Kahn would play in 34 league matches and kept an incredible 15 clean sheets throughout the season, with Kahn winning his fifth Bundesliga Best Goalkeeper Award as well as his first of many IFFHS World's Best Goalkeeper and Best European Goalkeeper Awards. Kahn would also be named the 2000 German Footballer of the Year, the first time a goalkeeper would win the award in nearly two decades. By this time, Kahn was easily the best goalkeeper in the world and would only continue to reach even greater heights. Because in the 2000-2001 season, Oliver Kahn would have one of the best goalkeeping seasons in history. He would play in all 34 league matches and kept an insane 21 clean sheets, meaning that Oliver Kahn kept the opposition from scoring for 61% of their matches. Just an absolute wall at the goal, setting a new Bundesliga record for the most shutouts in a single season. They would also go on to win a third consecutive Bundesliga title and another German League Cup title. But most importantly, Kahn and Bayern Munich would finally win the 2001 Champions League title. Because in the Champions League final against Valencia, after a 1-1 draw at extra time, the match would go on to penalty shootouts. And Oliver Kahn would iconically save three penalties in that one game, in one of the most stone-cold and clutch goalkeeping performances of all time. Kahn would win his sixth Bundesliga Best Goalkeeper Award, as well as a second IFFHS World's Best Goalkeeper Award, a second Best European Goalkeeper Award, being named the 2001 Champions League Final Man of the Match, and being named the back-to-back -back German footballer of the year. Oliver Kahn was so good that he would place third in the 2001 Ballon d'Or voting, one of the very rare moments a goalkeeper has ever finished in the top three in all of football history. At the club level, Kahn won everything you could possibly think of for a goalkeeper. But it was in 2002 when Kahn would get the chance to represent his country for the infamous World Cup hosted by both South Korea and Japan. Kahn played an absolutely crucial role in helping Germany reach the World Cup final. He would keep five clean sheets in seven matches and was named the tournament's best goalkeeper, eventually winning the golden ball for being the best player of the tournament, making him the only goalkeeper to ever win a World Cup golden ball. However, as solid and incredible as Oliver Kahn was, they would ultimately lose to Brazil, who were just way too stacked offensively. Kahn would also receive his seventh and final Bundesliga best goalkeeper award, his third and final IFFHS World's Best Goalkeeper Award, his fourth and final Best European Goalkeeper Award, and would once again finish third in the 2002 Ballon d'Or voting for the second year in a row. 
In hindsight, seeing how legendary a prime Oliver Kahn was, it's honestly such a shame that he was never able to win the Ballon d'Or. I mean, if any other goalkeeper in history truly deserved to win the award, it 100% should have been Oliver Kahn. I mean, even compared to other all-time goalkeepers, Gianluigi Buffon and Manuel Neuer, for example, have only finished in the top three for the voting once in their careers, while Oliver Kahn did it in consecutive seasons. It just goes to show you how dominant he was and just how much of an impression he left on the pitch. Kahn would finish the rest of his career with Bayern Munich, where he now serves as the club's top executive, helping them maintain their spot as the most iconic German club of all time. Kahn would win 8 Bundesliga titles, 6 German Cup titles, 5 German League Cup titles, 1 Intercontinental Cup, 1 UEFA Cup, and 1 Champions League title. While being named the Bundesliga's best goalkeeper for 7 years, the IFFHS world's best goalkeeper for 3 years, and the best goalkeeper in Europe for 4. Without a doubt, one of the greatest goalkeepers the game has ever seen.